Uh, welcome back again, Mary Ann Barnsley. Um, thank you for uh, joining us again tonight, or today. Um, uh, this time, instead of uh, staying on Main Street, we're going to venture out a little bit and kind of go to our sister Main Street, Tenney Mountain Highway. Uh, today we're joined by Deb Esposito. She owns, uh, runs Plymouth Pet and Aquarium. Thanks for joining us, Thank Deb. you for coming ah, out here you're to welcome. Tenney Mountain Highway. <laughs> ah, you're welcome. Yeah. We love Tenney Mountain Highway, and we just you know, sometimes we miss that focusing on Main Street, mm -hmm. so we appreciate your time. Um, Deb's been here quite a long time. Yes. So we actually opened in 1985. Wow. Uh, so 35 years. Wow. Um, we started in where Verizon is right now, okay. in half of their store, and then we grew into this bigger spot. Nice. And community has been really, really um, good to us, Excellent. and we really appreciate it. So I've always, I, you know, I like to ask, because I'm curious, why Pet and Aquarium? What, ah, what yes. made you think <laughs> of that? Why venture down this path? So we started um, because we had pets that we weren't able to find supplies for locally. Huh. What kind of um, pets? If I can. Parakeets. Ah, oh, And it was really hard to find um, parakeet supplies locally. Sure. Um, good quality supplies. And so we would drive to Laconia, drive to Concord, drive to Manchester. Wow. And so oh, we decided we wanted to do a local business that one was really a good fit for us. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, um, so a, a couple of the questions. I'm curious how you're operating uh, your business right now. How does that work for you folks? Uh, yeah, so it's been um, changing almost daily. Mm -hmm. um, in the beginning, we were changing our policies almost daily. Um, now we have settled into a fairly um, routine day. Um, we have shortened our hours mm -hmm. uh, to accommodate lower sales. Um, what are your hours now? So hours are a little bit sporadic okay. um, and we've changed them slightly the last couple of um, weeks. Okay. But right now we're, we're open um, Monday 9.30 to 2, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday 9.30 to 6 and Thursday we're closed Saturday 9.30 to 2 and Sunday 11 to 5, except for this Sunday um, right, for Easter. Right, we will be right, closed for Easter. Yeah. Sure, sure. And, and how do you operate? Um, how do customers place an order to come in? I noticed when we first showed up, the door was locked, which yes. is great. We're but how are you operating? Um, it's really easy to place an order. Just call us, text us. Um, you can come to the door and um, knock if you need to. Um, we prefer to do everything over the phone if sure. possible. Um, we have instructed all of our staff to maintain a six foot distance. Um, they are um, getting, we are getting some masks in that will be available for them to use if they want oh, to, but good. we're, um, we're hoping that the six foot distance will accommodate that right. um, requirement. Um, we would prefer people to pay um, with a credit card because sure. they can read the number to us. Makes sense. Um, we are still taking cash with gloves. Um, so they would call, just tell us everything they need. We help them choose supplies. We've had people call and say, I have a new puppy. Um, can you give me recommendations of what we need? And we talk them all through it. Nice. Um, then once it's paid, we figure out when they're coming in and it goes out on our table out on the sidewalk. Great. Um, Great. And if so it's something that you're not comfortable with, we putting it outside we just wait for them to call and we put it in their car uh -huh. great yeah. so you're keeping pretty safe it sounds like yes i think nice. we're doing a really good job accommodating um, staff which is you know of the most importance sure. to us and um, making sure people get supplies you know that they need nice. there's a lot of things here that are hard to find anywhere else right i know it's um from my own experience i know it's tough especially with the short hours Mm -hmm. With the staff, right, directly affected. So, how's your staff been doing and handling Our this? Our staff is incredible. They've all been doing an amazing job. Um, they've they've adjusted, accommodated, um, you know, everything that we've asked them to do. Um, we decided to work on some extra projects to keep oh, everyone good, employed good as much as possible. Uh, we're doing a full inventory count of the store, which we haven't done in probably 20 years, <laughs> um, but now's the time to do it. Sure. Um, we are upgrading our point of sale system at the same time oh, right wow. now. Uh, we're doing a little bit of rearranging, not too much, um, but all of those long-term type projects that we really didn't have time for before, we're sure. getting them in now. Great, great, good use so. of time while you can. You don't often, we miss those things. You yes. don't get often time for that, too busy mm -hmm. operating. 
All right, great. Yeah. Thank you, Deb. Thanks for uh, oh, letting us in. Thank you. You're and just welcome. a really quick thank you to the community. Like they have yeah. just been amazing to us, and we really appreciate it. Great. So, thank you. Thanks. Um, so right now we're at the Lucky Dog. We're here with Patty Berman, um, Dave Chapman, and uh, her brother-in-law Chuck. Chuck Berman. Um, so we'll get a chance to meet them as well. So Patty, I've been dying to ask. Hence the name Lucky Dog. Tell me, where did that come from? Uh, d &M Sports um, had the logo, our Lucky Dog logo, way okay. back in the day. Oh. And actually, Babe Ruth came to town, to Plymouth, and he stitched a glove and everything. And he saw the Lucky Dog logo, and he said, oh, it's one of those Lucky Dog kind. Right. And so we, when we um, became the Lucky Dog, we looked at the logo, we researched it, and we thought that would be perfect for Plymouth. So, Great. Yeah, Great. We adopted yeah, you it. definitely uh, recognize the Lucky Dog by the, the big dog. And I'm a huge dog fan. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. It all worked out <laughs> yeah. in the end. Nice, nice, excellent. So how long have you guys been here? Um, Chuck opened the bar downstairs in 1989. He's a graduate of Plymouth State. Oh. Um, and then I came up in 1993 and the restaurant space became available upstairs. It used to be a model shop. And so oh. we opened up the restaurant in 93. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, so what are you folks doing now with the virus and, and how are you operating now? We're doing um, on Tuesdays and Saturday nights are the nights that we're cooking. So we're cooking from four to eight. Okay. Um, it's a preset menu that we put out on our Facebook page or our Instagram page. And then uh, people can pre-order uh, family style meals. They can also order um, our steak tips, our famous steak tips. Yes, very um, famous. Raw, um, and so uh, also our marinated chicken breast. You can order those seven days a week, but people are ordering them by the pound. Um, so we're doing a lot of business that way. Um, yes. But we're doing takeout and um, pick up here at the restaurant. You can come in the door, but you can't get past the front door will okay. bring everything to you gotcha. um, everything's we're all gloved and everything and if you sign your charge it's a pencil that you take with you so we're not reusing ah, anything like that so and then we'll do delivery for free within 10 miles nice. yeah. but you would definitely prefer the call ahead oh definitely type of thing. especially if you're doing family style meals and things like that because it gives us time to prep it um, right. we'd like that called ahead but otherwise you can just call in like regular takeout between four and eight on Tuesdays and Saturdays okay and it's worked out well excellent yeah. so I've been told that uh, Dave is the master chef chef kind of the guy yeah. behind the scenes um, for the love of cooking uh, love of cooking slash got to do what you got to do to keep it open <laughs> Uh, the kitchen's not that hot this time of year, so that's kind of a good thing. Nice. Um, we're kind of just going with our staples, steak tips, uh, going with any kind of fried food you can think of. Uh, tonight I'm going to be uh, smoking some uh, beef tips, beef ribs. Um, I'm also going to be doing um, port porterhouses uh, tonight and marinate them overnight for tomorrow. Um, and then we're kind of cooking to what anything anybody wants. Oh. Um, half pans of mac and cheese, uh, pulled pork, um, you know, burgers, fries, anything you kind of want, we'll do. Um, you know, throw, throw it at us, we'll do That's it. Some good comfort food. Yes, Yeah, exactly. the ribs sound, uh, little ribs, little mac and cheese right now. Exactly. A little chili out, so it all, it all sounds good. Exactly. Huh? And uh, how has business been? Um, hit or miss. Uh, yeah. Last Saturday, the community came out. It was great. Nice. Um, slammed all night long. Um, and we're selling also a lot of uh, tips and chicken by the pound. Oh, so great. even on the slow days, we're still doing a lot of uh, grill options so people can cook at home. Great. great. So Chuck, um, as, a, as a small business owner as well, I know we've been certainly keeping ourselves busy trying to find additional financing. How have you guys been dealing with it? Uh, we've been dealing through the SBA, SBA loans, the payroll protection plan loan, the $10,000 grant loan, the other SBA loans that are out there. Right. <clears throat> uh, the paperwork has been inundating, but I feel like I've gotten it down because I've done it so many times. Right. And we're just still waiting now on Meredith Village Savings Bank for the payroll protection plan that's been submitted. And the other one was through SBA, but nobody knows when that's coming yeah, out. Yeah, it's been. They uh, keep talking about it, but certainly <clears throat> been a hardship. And and you're right, it's a whole other skill set yeah. that we've now uh, learned. So I guess that's our yeah, because there's backup plan. very little guidance on it yeah. as far as uh, how to maneuver through the paperwork. 
you kind of have to ask people who have done it. Right. That's what I found. Right. I, I certainly um, <clears throat> have seen, you know, the Main Street businesses um, sharing a lot of information, mm -hmm. um, and hopefully that, that helps as well. But Yep. Hopefully yeah. it comes through. In the meantime, like I said, we do what we do. And right. Do the to-go's we do. Um, just hope to get people back to work soon. Right. Because right. right now it's a ghost town. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Uh, it's tough to see. You need to get a haircut, too. <laughs> no barbers. <laughs> My grades are coming out, so know where you're at. You got the right angle, hopefully, on that one. All right. Good enough, Jeff. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Um, right here, we are here with uh, Regina Renault from Longview Farm. They're off uh, Smith Bridge Road, but, uh, but a mile down, I'd say, on yeah. Smith Bridge. Yeah. Um, so I know, so I think Longview has been here Quite a long time. A long time. Yeah. John and Carol Perkins have operated the farm for over 40 years. Wow. And then my husband and I, we, um, we started leasing the farm three years ago. And now we're in the process of, of purchasing the farm. So we're very excited for Great. it to continue for many, many more years to nice. come. <laughs> I am not a green thumb. So i um, curious have you always been a green thumb this was always other farms <laughs> little what tell us yeah I, I don't know I mean I guess it just developed as I as I you know became an adult but just always interested in farming and just started pursuing that um, as you know just a way of life and now it's it's more than that nice. <laughs> so it's great nice. business I think many of us will at least me um, I follow you folks on Facebook, and I was surprised to see recently that you're open with some offerings. What are you offering right now? Yeah, so we have just some early greens, um, mostly things that overwintered in uh, greenhouse spaces that we have. And so spinach and salad mix and Asian greens, and, um, and hopefully that will continue, and we'll have some more offerings in, at, towards the end of the month, um, hopefully picking parsnip soon yeah. and... Um, we've got radishes and arugula in the ground, so just waiting for those things nice. to pop up and grow. <laughs> what are your What are your hours right now? So right now we're we're maintaining Thursday through Saturday, ten to four. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. And folks, how does it how does it operate? Um, kind of keeping the social distance type of thing. How are you folks? Yeah. Operating? So uh, we are operating self service. Um, we have a a separate garage space that we've got a cooler set up. Um, so it's an honor system, and uh, for right now, it's just we're asking that's only one person at a time in in the space, um, just to to allow for social distancing and nice. each person to just do their own thing and then and then come out. Yeah. So we pretty much open this stand space um, when we start picking strawberries in mid to late June, and then from strawberries it just starts getting better. So we we grow asparagus. Um, all broccoli, all the different kinds of greens, cauliflower, everything, all the squashes, uh, summer squash, and um, so pretty much everything, potatoes, sweet corn. Um, and Best so corn we will... around, I gotta say. And <laughs> yeah. the biggest pumpkins, too. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we're sticking with all of that. We're, we'll have the, the whole gamut of veggies, yeah. And I see you offer on uh, Local Foods Plymouth as well. You work yeah. in conjunction with them. Yeah, we, you know, as long as we've got stuff to offer, um, we'll we'll keep listing on local foods along with other area farmers. So right. yeah, that's another option, especially if you, you know, just want to order from your home. They're offering deliver home delivery as well um, and curbside pickup. So Great. sounds like you guys are keeping yourselves busy as yes. well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just sticking with the farm plan, <laughs> planting. You know, if we if we miss a beat, then you know that affects us later on. Right. So we just, you know, decided we just got to keep keep going with the farm plan. Everybody's got to eat. So yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right, Regina. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you.